This LOS is explained the interaction of monetary and fiscal policy. Although both fiscal and monetary policy can alter aggregate demand, they work through different channels. The policies are therefore not interchangeable, and they conceivably can work against one another unless the government and central bank coordinate their objectives. Monetary and fiscal policy use different channels to affect the economy, but may have similar policy objectives. These policies may conflict with one another, or they may enhance one another. Because of the potential for monetary and fiscal policies to work against each other, coordination between the government and the central bank is important. Both types of policies are challenging because of lags in data and the inability to predict the future path of the economy. An example of interaction is quantitative easing. A potential problem of quantitative easing is that when it is used to purchase government debt, fiscal and monetary policy interact. We'll do a practice question. Which policy alternative is most likely to be effective for growing both the public and private sectors? A, easy fiscal and easy monetary policy. B, easy fiscal and tight monetary policy. Or C, tight fiscal and tight monetary policy. I think that question is quite easy. A is correct. If both fiscal and monetary policies are easy, then the joint impact will be highly expansionary, leading to a rise in aggregate demand, low interest rates, and growing private and public sectors. Clearly C is wrong. Tight fiscal and tight monetary policy is not going to be effective for growing the public and private sector. It's going to be a contractionary. An easy fiscal but with tight monetary policy? No, the tight monetary policy again won't be effective for growing the uh, private sector. So a fairly easy question. Just two more quick practice questions to finish this LOS. The first one, a pay-as-you-go rule which requires that any tax cut or increase in entitlement spending be offset by an increase in other taxes or reduction in other entitlement spending is an example of which fiscal policy stance? A, neutral. B, expansionary, or C, contractionary? I think that's a fairly easy question. You'd be happy to see that one on the exam. A is correct. That's a zero-sum game. If you, were, if you have a tax cut or, or increase in entitlement spending, but it's offset by an increase in other tax or a reduction in other entitlement spending, then there's no net impact on the budget deficit or surplus, so that would be neutral. So a pay-as-you-go rule is a neutral policy because any increases in spending or reductions in revenues would be offset. Accordingly, no impact on the budget deficit or surplus. And one last practice question to finish this LOS. Quantitative easing, the purchase of government or private securities by the central banks from individuals and or institutions, is an example of which monetary policy stance? A, neutral, B, expansionary, or C, contractionary? Again, I think a very easy question to end on. B is correct. Quantitative easing is an example of an expansionary monetary policy stance. It attempts to spur aggregate demand by drastically increasing the money supply. So we saw quantitative easing in the United States after the crisis in 2008. Okay, so that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.